What's up guys, James Shu out here in Las Vegas, Nevada with Chase and Cinema. How are you, sir? Good, sir. Tonight is a big day. Yes. Two movies. Internship. And The Purge. The Purge. Ethan, Ethan Hawke. Hawk. A movie that I'm kind of excited for. I think the concept is really, really original. You know, we have, you know, crimes at all-time low, unemployment 1%, and what happens because of The Purge. One night a year where all crime is legal, even murder. That's an interesting concept if you think it's about crazy. it. It's crazy. So I'm actually kind of in I'm excited to see this picture. Um, do you have any expectations for this one? No, I don't. It looks good in the trailers. So I'm expecting a good thriller. Or maybe even kind of a horror by the way it looks of it with the masks and the creepy stuff so yeah. I'm excited for this one. And they are scary masks. Hour and 40 minute movie? Yes. We'll be back. I can't control myself, you know I'll never get enough. No. What's up guys? We just got out of Ethan Hawke's The Purge. The Purge. ChasingCinema.com. James Shea, I want to hear your reaction first. Gosh. It was, I'm, I'm glad I watched it. It's a one time watch for me. I wouldn't even buy it. I don't even want an illegal download of it. Um, I mean it was fun. It was just so frustrating because I, I wanted Ethan Hawke to say, my son, I'm throwing you out. You deserve this whole, it was, just, it was frustrating, but it was cool. And hey, check it out. I thought it was cool. Chasing Cinema, tell it to me. I absolutely love The Purge. I thought The Purge's concept and originality was one thing that kept it fresh. Like you said, it was fun. I think that was key. We had the audience cheering and clapping for everything that was going on. It's taken, taken to the extreme. I think that the movie did have a lot of... Um, fell in kind of the horror movie cliches, like you said, a lot of frustrating parts, like why would you do that, why wouldn't you do this? And that happens a lot in the movie, which kind of faults, but the third act gets way crazy, and there's even subtle twists that I didn't see coming. This was one of the most exciting movies and probably the best movie experience I've had this year so far. Not one of my, fi um, probably my top five at least this year so far. Absolutely enjoyed The Purge, I definitely recommend it. That's crazy talk, however, for, to understand the full reason why he feels this way, yes. ChasingCinema.com, you can get all the good stuff next week. Yeah. The movie of movies. Bum, for this man. Bum, 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 bum. I cannot wait. Man of Steel, it is the return. Brandon Ruth, Brandon Routh, I've heard many <laughs> different ways to say it. Yeah. Uh, let everyone down. Yes, he did. Henry Cavill, I will not, I'll say that he will not let anyone down. I'm I don't know. so excited for we did. We did do a review on the cold light of day. You could watch that if you want to recap. And that's cold light of day. <laughs> We're talking Man of Steel. This is true. I'm so super excited. I'm stoked for it. Get your tickets now because we need to be next to this man. Because if anyone's going to be excited or get you pumped up for this movie, it's me, this man. You need to get a seat next to this man at his premiere. You know what I love too about it, and we're going to wrap it up, is that the only other per, uh, screen you can really get before this is the Walmart one, and really that's it. Yes, this, or is, that one, is, this it. is one of the most exclusive screenings you could get to this picture. And we'll both be in Superman gear. Yes. So Midnight is going down next Thursday. Uh, we have you right now. Do us a favor, push subscribe, go to his website, follow him on Facebook, do the Twitter stuff. And until that next episode, reserve your tickets, and we'll see you next week. Oh, I'm